Hello YouTube, it is me again for my 40th update of the Skyhawk. I'm proud of myself to be at version 40. So, we're going to get started. We're going to start from front and move back. So, as you can see I took off the two uh, clear pieces and replaced it with the two original guns I had on here. Uh, they're only held on by this sloped piece right there. It's one of those hinge pieces, you can probably see it just like that. So that's how those are held on. I left the landing lights on, so those are still there. Uh, please excuse that. Um, I also put on these curved parts right here. And the reason for that is if um, a shell hit right in here, or a, a shrapnel shell, a blue out shrapnel, this would just provide extra protection against that shrapnel from piercing this thinner layer of uh, metal right here. So it's extra protection for the troops inside. Um, if you remember on my last ball side here, I had a six by four flat black plate. Well, I've changed it to uh, one of these pieces and that's because if I want to add anything besides that part on there, I can do that. Uh, so yeah. Um, I also changed this up here. I turned it into an actual space which the guy can sit. So it's based off the same design that this cockpit is made out of, but I just rearranged it for a smaller space for a guy to sit in, a clone to sit in. So. He's now got an actual post. He's got a little computer in there. The camera ain't gonna focus on it, will it? It's because of the glare of the light. But yeah, he's got a little computer. It slopes down, off, and then comes back up off the uh, sensor relay. Uh, the only way to get into the back to tank area is to take off this piece and then lift it up to get into the back to tank area. So that is a downfall, but it's all right because I don't usually go into the back to tank area anyhow. Um, another thing I did, I got this Republic Starfighter decal on it. Um, as you can see, I've changed up the wings a little bit and that's because I took up here and added on about four more studs on the wing and then that it gave me two extra room up here. So I extended out the wing a little bit. Uh, I also removed the two red pieces I had in here and replaced them with these two red pieces so that it conforms with the entire thing. Excuse me. So uh, that's what I did there. Uh, another thing I did underneath the wing, if I can get it off, it's always been a pain in the butt. I added these slope pieces I wish they were in a different color other than tan, but those pieces are just there for uh, like an air intake because you see they have these natural grooves in them. So that's an air intake for the engine back here. Uh, don't know if you guys have ever seen this before, but I got a decal right in there, as you can see. So if you guys haven't seen that before, that's what I have in there. Uh, I've got this door on here. It's a new style door because I had to take off this piece from it to use it on back there. And it comes down like so. I've got this arrow on it for a little fun. And then the box comes out. Added these two Republic uh, symbols on it. And then I added a mortar to the box loadout so it's a heavy demolitions box so as you can see I added a mortar and that's all for this update it's my 40th update so I'm proud to be there so remember to comment rate and subscribe to see more videos similar to this one